She could probably deal with that. Hi, I'm just trucking. I'm filming everything. Look at my eye. Yep, this is Wednesday mornings, Sacramento Yard. This is good, you're what? I don't think he knows how to back. He's literally in the hole. He should offer to help. Swift is in the house. So we just got here to Sacramento and Martin has informed me there's no trailer in our app, which is strange. Sure so happens. we'll find out what's going on here in just one momento. We got our load, 14,000 pounds. Newer trailer. Let's see if we spot it. Three, five, three, five, six, three, three. I don't know where it is. We'll find it. Maybe it's over there, outside. Wait, that's not fancy. having a little bit of a trouble with our fifth wheel this morning. It would appear something is wrong with our fifth wheel. We're trying to adjust the placement of it. It unlocked, but it won't lock back uh, into the track. So we're uh, not off to a good start this morning. was able to persuade it somehow where we are now locked and our fifth wheel is where it needs to be so I give it two thumbs up but I'm holding a phone and another phone so that's what you guys get.
So yeah, uh, I think it's gonna be one of those days, guys. Uh, it must be uh, what we get for not doing a video for over a week, huh? Gotta make it interesting. All right, let's hit the road. Quick scale prediction. I don't know. I think they're going to be open, but I hope they bypass us because I'm, I'm already tired of trucking today. Soda Springs. It's Lucky's Travel Plaza. It's basically it's a Chevron up on the hill on Donner. And the pump price is $5.99. With our open roads discount, it's $4.71. So the TA that we usually go to is actually less. Um, let me bring it up here and I will tell you how much less. So it's $4.55 at the TA. So why didn't we go there? Well, we didn't go there because when you figure in the IFTA credit, we're actually paying $3.86 a gallon. What? Can you believe that? That's crazy. Uh, California charges $0.85 cents a gallon in taxes. So if you take the pump price um, that we're paying, take away the $0.85, cents, comes up to $3.86 a gallon. Um, so it's not like an immediate discount, but when we do our IFTA, that's what we're paying. We're paying three eighty six dollars a gallon, so I think that's pretty neat. Save yourself. Or your fleet. Time and money at DriveWise, the nation's number one way station bypass service. DriveWise is an app-based scale bypass service that saves you time and money by giving you bypass opportunities at 830 way stations and mobile inspection sites across 45 states and providences, right to your phone or tablet, so there's no need for transponders. The DriveWise app automatically detects the location of wait stations and alerts the driver when the vehicle is two miles from an inspection site. 
Next, the app sends a bypass request and notifies the driver to either bypass or pull in. Which for us, 99% of the time, we get the bypass. Trucking Together viewers can get a no-risk, free, 30-day trial by clicking the link in the description box down below. After the free trial, the cost for driveways is only $17.99 per month. You probably spend more on that on a bag of beef jerky at the truck stop. Thank you so much, DriveWise, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to trucking. So if you haven't figured it out yet, at the end of our last trip, Martin and I jumped on a plane to go to North Carolina to purchase a 2020 Peterbilt 579, which we affectionately named Tiny Dancer. Once we got the truck back home to California, Martin went right to work on putting our personal touches on it. No gauges? Gauges. Man, Peterbilt don't mess around with them holes in the hood. Let there be light. So Martin's adjusting the headlights on the truck. Um, they're a little low, we've decided, so up they go. They turned your headlights on. I thought, oh, how'd they turn on? Because I was adjusting them, so they got turned on. Katie. Well, don't make it seem like I'm the one that did it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I said, you can turn my headlights off. It's dinner time. Let's see what we have. Our crusty chicken. Cooks for two minutes. That's all these cook for, yeah. 
Dang. All right, guys, so the meals that we make in the truck are made by Factor. I do have a link in the description box for where you can order these. Uh, there is a discount to code tied in with that link. Um, we are not affiliated. We just really like their meals. And if anything, if you sign up, I think it gives us like one free meal or something. But uh, definitely recommend them. Uh, they have a lot of keto friendly meals. They have calorie smart meals and uh, they're just, they're delicious. They're, they're straight up delicious. So this is my keto friendly Indian food. I have the pork tenderloin with greens. So even though the trip got off on a rocky start, I would say it's going quite well. Uh, it's going very well. So happy about that. Uh, just finished up my 30 minute break. Going to uh, use the restroom real quick and get back at it. I am uh, not sure which route we're taking right now. Uh, you guys already know, cause I inserted it in earlier, but as of right now, I have no idea. Um, the reason being Wyoming has a wind event happening. Uh, we were talking about that we think we are gonna go through Wyoming and then uh, tomorrow take 70 out. But Martin wanted to double check again uh, before we get to Salt Lake. So as of right now, I don't know. I'm good either way. Uh, my personal vote though would be go Wyoming. It saves time. So anyway, as far as my shift goes, I'm gonna drive another two, maybe three hours. And I'll be calling it a night and Martin will be taking over. So on that note, I will check in with you guys when we get to wherever that point will be. guys we made it here to Evanston Wyoming it is uh, about 1230 local time 1130 ish my time and it is currently 29 degrees uh, the parking lot is icy I was not expecting it sorry We're adjusting the headlights still in this truck. So much to my surprise, when we pulled in the parking lot, it was uh, quite icy. I don't like the ice. I don't walk well on it. Um, but I'm hoping I won't fall. I, I, I don't want to fall. We'll see. I have um, traction things for my shoes, but I, I don't think it's enough, like, to warrant putting them on, so I'm going to give it a go. We'll see how, how it works. If I uh, fall my butt, well, I guess you guys will hear about it. But anyway, good day of trucking. It's good to be back in the driver's seat after our break. And um, I'm ready for bed. So on that note, Tune in tomorrow for Martin. He's going to start off this next episode. And I'm going to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, catch you on the next one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag. So how do you feel? Very different. But hopefully more profitable.